NTT Ballpark Cam game through the ALDS will take place at Target Field as the Twins are two victories away from their first ALCS appearance since 2002. Pablo Lopez, seven innings, no runs, and Carlos Correa, three for four, two doubles, three RBI. Both those guys have been terrific so far, as has Royce Lewis. And if ever there was a story, Dan O'Dowd, about perseverance and resilience, this young man is it. He was the number one overall pick, has battled severe injuries, and now he's getting his moment to shine. He's been terrific. Yeah, I'd like to take you back to 2017. He was 1-1 in that year's draft. It was a, a year where there wasn't a clear consensus number one pick. Um, Hunter Green got taken two, Mackenzie Gore three, Brendan McKay four, Kyle Wright was five. But the Twins got it right because this young man has got clear consensus talent. He's a shortstop, played some third, played some center field. He's grown physically. And you're right, bad man. If you know, if he hadn't had the two ACL injuries this year, he had an oblique and a hamstring. I mean, you look at just how the body is filled. What we didn't project on him as a young high school players, the power that's come. But he, this is a lethal, lethal bat. I talk about players. I put them in categories. They become special when they're aircraft carriers. Mm. Royce Lewis is an aircraft carrier in the middle of this lineup, and we're gonna. H is now gonna break him down to actually see how his swing makes him such a special talent. Yeah, ready for takeoff. The aircraft carrier that's Royce Lewis H. From his path, the majors, to his swing path. What do you got? No, no doubt about it. I, I think the, the number one thing when I see great players, and I think Royce Lewis is going to be in that category, you don't really mess with them. When they come up to the big leagues or when you sign them, they have fundamental things in their swing to do, whether it's Mike Trout, Griffey, on, 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 on. So I want to take you to Royce Lewis. Take you back. Dan t did such a great job explaining his past history. But let's look at game one. We've been watching him hit home runs, pulling the baseball, being able to shoot it to right field. He's doing everything you want somebody to do when you get to the plate. Here's a ball right center field. Looks like a left-hander hit it. Hits in the upper deck facade. Why is he able to get that great finish well this is him in high school all right he's getting the ball out there getting through the zone well, let's look at this one a little bit closer this is about a month before the draft he gets here and now he's able to stay through the ball a lot of guys cut it off and even there he cut his swing off a little bit what he's doing now if I were to put a T here this is the ball inside that he's gonna be able to take and shoot the other way this as uh, he could hit it here or I could put a T out there, he's still gonna be able to do it. So how do you do that? How do you get to that point where you're not cutting your swing off? This is the one he pulls, I'm sorry. This just collapses inside here. This one he stays extended through. And if he was to take that swing, he continues to stay through it. So using my own self as an example, all right? And a lot of people do this. Ignore the, 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 the home plate, because I wouldn't stand this far up. But for purposes of this, I'm gonna set this multi T up here. I had a scout named Jeff Malinoff who drafted me, and when I hit left-handed, I would get here, and I would hook my swing off, and all of a sudden, I was like, how do I get my path? So even right-handed, I'd get here, and I'd cut my swing off. You see people cutting their swing off. A lot of people are trying to teach this, stay here, keep your hands here. This will force you to tip the middle, all that stuff. You don't need to do all that. It's real simple. So imagine I'm trying to hit this ball right here, okay? I get there. And I can hit that ball, but what happens if I'm trying to reach that ball right there, I would get here and I can't reach it because I changed my path. So what we started doing a lot was put three balls down here, and now I'm going to hit this ball, this ball, and this ball, and all I'm doing is making me finish my swing instead of cutting it off. Let's see if I can pull it off. All right? All I'm doing is stand right through that the whole way, and I'm not cutting my swing off. And this tells me, am I able to stay with it? When I first started doing stuff like this, I could hit this ball, and then I'd hook off, and I'd leave two up there. Or I'd stay here, and I'd hook off, and leave the fall one out there. But this forces me to stay my swing all the way through. We talk about launch angles, paths, all those things. That's not new terminology. It's just called staying through the ball. It's what we used to call it. So let me do it one more time. All right. I'm standing right through that ball, finishing it, boom, that way. Adnan, you like that? I love that, H. I'm going to give some hitting drills with you. You're going to help me on my swing.